Okay, welcome to my future self, family, um, kids. I don't know, whoever's watching. Um, welcome to the lab. The lab is what I refer to as this workout room slash golf room that I made um, recently. Well, not recently, in the fall. It is March 20, what is it, March 27th, uh, 2021. And I have a... Uh, yeah, I started this because I need to, I want to record my journey. I want to record what's going on with me and uh, see where, uh, I I know where I want to go, but I do want to see where this takes me. Um, and where I want to go and where I end up is probably two different things, but let's, uh, let's record it. Let's take it for a journey. So I'm in the lab right now. Um, I have uh, my... Yeah, golf simulator up, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to hit. So um, I'll just take you through a couple things. One thing is I uh, do different distances here. I'm going to do a 50-yard pitching wedge, uh, aiming 50 yards at the target, trying to get it as close to that target as possible. The thing is... Um, Man, that felt really good. Woohoo! Pretty close. Um, this is a pretty sensitive uh, tracking device. Um, really good. I'll actually hit one off. I'm going to go left a little bit of this on this uh, shot and see where it takes me. Should be a little left, about 50 yards. But you'll see how sensitive it is, huh? There we go. And yep, hit a little strong. But Basically, this lab is uh, I've been using for about, I don't know, maybe five months now. Um, I'm trying to get back into speed golf form for this coming year. Last year was my first year of golfing, really. Um, I really, I, before last year, I played maybe two, three times a year, um, not much. Last year, I decided to go all in and uh, do some speed golf. Now, trying to hit that 50. Um, doing speed golf uh, with, in 2020 was not good. I mean, it was good that I got out to the course. I got out, out probably over 100 rounds at Rubens, but um, competition-wise, I got to two tournaments and really couldn't hone my skills, really couldn't test out some of my theories. Um, in those two tournaments, I did get some good theories tested, though. I mean, I tested out a couple theories, just not all of them. Um, and uh, I really didn't know what I was doing last year. 50. Um, yeah. So last year, yeah, I was, I was way out of my element in those tournaments. Um, I, I, yeah, enough said with that. But... This year, I uh, kind of honed some skills and I've uh, gotten into things. Um, I'm now going by uh, the Golfing Runner. That is uh, kind of my hashtag on, on things. Um, that's actually my name in Instagram and uh, probably various other places, the Golfing Runner. I hope to be the running golfer at some point. But right now, I just don't have the experience in golf. so. I am the golfing runner. I run and play golf. I hope to be to play golf and run. And that's what I'm honing my skills uh, for right now. A um, couple of my theories. One, carry two. Two clubs. All you need for speed golf, really. Um, that is my... That's what I want to prove over the ne next few years I can that somebody can just play with two clubs <sighs> left again um one of my uh oh it didn't pick it up wow so play with just two clubs um one of my hashtags is golf with two that is something that I'm going to be promoting for a long long time now those two clubs might change. Right now I'm playing with a pitching wedge. It's a Callaway Rogue Pro pitching wedge. 
Um, I forgot what degree it is. Is it 56? I don't know. And uh, then I play with the Callaway Epic Flash uh, 3 Hybrid. Those are my two clubs that I play. Alright. Um, I'll just show you versatility of what I've been working on. Let's go with, uh, so that was 50. It's easy to just, you know, box in and, and do the same shot over and over. Here's a 100 shot. My setup's a little different. Um, so the little, I don't know if you saw that 50, that 50 I'm off center. I need to open up the club face a lot more. Now I'm doing a regular swing. Um, it's a really easy swing for me, 100 yards should be an easy, nice easy swing here. Um, set up just the tad back and swing. It's going to go a little right, um, but it should be pretty good with the distance. Yeah, I was on just a little, little short. Um, I was 28, 29 feet away from my target, so that was my pin. I have a 29 foot putt, I'll take that off from 100 yards. Let's do that again. And then I'll move to a different distance. I hooked it a little bit. And you'll see this. Yep, look at that hook. Oh, good, good distance. But that's what I'm working on, doing different distances, uh, not blocking it as much. Let's go to, uh, let's see. Did, let's go to 75, and then I'll go to 125. So that's a 75 shot. Um, pretty, I, I like the 75. It's a nice, easy swing. There we go. Not too bad. Uh, bad 18 feet, 19 feet from my point of where I wanted to hit it. So that's pretty good. Um, I'd like to get it in the red. Let's go 125. Let's go back to the two clubs. I am uh, working with my pitching wedge, right? My two, oh, jeez, my, don't want to aim from there. Um, my two clubs is my pitching wedge. This is going to take me from 150 on in. I'll show you 150 shot after this. So, 125, full swing. That should be pretty darn close, a little right. So I'm thinking, oh, I hooked it just a tad. All right, 125, 23 feet away. I'm liking it. 125, I'll take that. Um, that should be my average when I'm when I'm out there. Um, now I'm going to go 150. I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I'm doing this. One, coming off from a back injury. I haven't swung a club in a um, week. I haven't run in over a week. This is the, my first time out. Did some warm-up swings before I went live with this. But um, here's my 150. Set it down. Close up the club face, have a good swing. Uh, it's going to be a little short, but it's going to be right on, I think. Yeah, a little hook. Huh? 150, 47 feet away, so I'd like to be closer than that, typically. But, um, yeah, you can see I came across with a uh, close down that club face a little bit. Let's see if I can do a little better on my 150 with that. Good. Not quite there. The distance isn't quite there. I'm a little fearful of my back. Yep. Look at that. Same same spot. So I guess get back to the back. Um, and let me do some easy chips here while I'm talking. The my back. Um, I don't know what I did to it, but I messed it up probably four or five weeks ago, and it hasn't been the same. Um, got a new bed and I've been trying that. I've been on and off for a couple weeks here. I'm um, trying to do some running and then um, and so on. But this last week, nothing. All right. 50. So um, my back was, uh, was really sore um, the last couple weeks, but I decided to play through it the week before. And I got to last Sunday, and it was opener at Drugan's. I couldn't resist. I felt my back not real good, but I couldn't resist the opener at Drugan's. So I went out and played 18. Um, actually, 
actually that uh, round is there on YouTube and or wherever that you're looking at this but um, I did put in that round and shot of what it was an 89 in 48 minutes I felt pretty good um, I just didn't feel I could swing full out um, but in general my game was pretty good well on, later that day on Sunday I could barely walk it literally was crumpled over we went for a walk and I was like this so I needed I knew I needed to take a break well we did get a new bed here on Tuesday we got um, I've been resting up and my back is feeling pretty fine you're you can see from my swings um, it's feeling pretty good I have a little tightness in it right now and in my uh, left um, glute but for the most part uh, feeling pretty good we'll see how it acts later today but part of the reason why I, I want to record this journey I'm on just a little over darn it um, I want to record this journey I'm on because it could be pretty pretty good um, and I want I want my future self to see this I want my kids to see it see where it started so I'm uh, Oh, the other part of this whole thing is I just got my left leg chopped up a little bit with uh, some basal basal carcinoma skin cancer. Um, and so that happened a day and a half ago. So I have a big cut on my left calf. I'm not supposed to uh, exercise. I'm supposed to stay off from it for two weeks. Yeah, right. I actually hope to get out to Drugan's tomorrow morning, maybe play a round, play an easy round, keep, take it easy on my back, take it easy on my leg, but I need to get out on the real golf course. Um, this turf is it's kind of fake, you know, how I can hit it in the same spot every time, right? Um, so my journey begins. This is the lab. I'm going to be um, filming, uh, I'll be filming in here some. I'll be filming just runs. I'll be filming um, my golf play, my speed golf play, and uploading it. I do uh, Avavi is the software program I'm going to start you uh, that I'm using now. I'll uh, edit this. I will edit my. I already did edit my first round at Drugans. Put that up, but um, I'm going to try to record and record this journey I'm on. So um, when that shot, let's see. That should we go? Let's go 100. See how close I can get. Pan. Be nice if I could put in the hole. I've only put in the hole on this thing once. Um, I put it really close sometimes. If I can get it close to the hole, there's that little bump. Um, but there is actually a hole that you can put this in. So let's put uh, a nice hundred touch on this. It's gonna be a little left, so not going in the hole this time, but has a decent distance. All right. Boom, you see those things. That's it for now. Um, I'm going to upload. Remember this? I'm the golfing runner. Um, hashtag run with two. I will get into some of my other um, stuff later on of um, how I actually carry the clubs, what I do. This Epic Flash um, 3 hybrid, I have it set as standard neutral. It's an 18 degree and then the Rogue Pro. Um, I do run with two. Eight, uh, whenever I run, run with this in my right hand, that my left, and I can stride out pretty good. That's where I hope to gain some strokes on some of the good speed golfers out there. And now I just have to pick up the, my golf game and uh, see what happens. Five tournaments this year. I'll take you on all the tournaments. I'm, I'm uh, this thing, this GoPro, um, is on my belt for right now. It's working pretty good, uh, especially out at Drugan's that first go-round. That was my first time running and golfing with that thing on. Um, yeah, this this is a blast. Uh, join me on the journey. Subscribe to the channel. Um, or just watch, keep, keep watching somewhere. Just, I will be going to YouTube, but whether it's Facebook, I don't know. Um, but uh, hope you enjoy. Um, if you're interested in what I'm doing, interested in speed golf, interested in running, interested in golfing, I'm gonna give you an interest in life. I'm gonna do life tips. Um, I thought, man, I just gotta pull the trigger, hit record, and start this journey. Till next.